All right, let's go ahead and uh, change this because this is obviously the wrong shit. Wait, how is that right? Wow. I guess it is. Visual quality? No, fuck no. Oh, normal? Okay, well. Anti-aliasing? Yeah, turn that shit on. SSO? Yeah, turn that shit on. Film grain? Yeah, why not? Bloom? Yeah, why not? Gameplay. Subtitles? Yep. Yeah. English? Points of interest? Yeah, because otherwise we might get frustrated. All right. Yep. All right, let's uh, let's go. Let's check out Blameless. I'm an architect, freelance, so I take job offers as they arise. So when this guy called me, I was relieved I could finally get a paying job. He said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building. I always respected people who can do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. I already had a couple of ideas. It was already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. I tried to comply because I didn't want to lose this offer. I drove there with my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area, quite remote, but with other houses nearby, a quiet place. The man met me at the front gate. It was a temporary fence, and the gate was made of rotting wooden planks. He started showing me around the yard. It seemed weird that there was a large garbage container blocking the way, so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house. He took me through the rooms, so I started looking around. At one point, I saw a stain, and at first glance it seemed like brick dust. But then I realized it was blood, spilled on the floor. I thought that maybe there was another worker who got injured, so I turned to tell the man. That's when I saw his hand raised to hit me. He was holding a metal rod. Before I could defend myself, he hit me in the head. I must have passed out. I don't know how long I was out. <sighs> When I woke up. So a strange man invites you to his house via Craigslist. There's a dumpster in his front yard. He invites you into the house. You don't know this guy. And he's holding his rod. Sounds about right. Craigslist at its finest. Got to admit, I like it. Disease free, baby. <laughs> okay, what are we dealing with here? Okay. I might get with the I might get with the art style. Let's see what's going on. That hurt. Okay. Uh, so the house is made of cardboard. Unknown. Ooh, very sensitive. Let me lower this down. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. The game just locked up. Oh no! Nope, there it goes. Never mind. Sorry. All right. Let's see. What was this? Right to reverse action. What the? What the? Hello? <laughs> what is this? Okay. This blood stain does not look like it's the result of a banal injury. Banal. You know, I've seen blood that looks like someone got a, a, like some really hard banal. It seems fresh. The blood hasn't completely dried out yet. Should be brown, by the way. This looks like something was being dragged across the blood stain. Hmm. So it's kind of like a. It seems kind of like a. In, uh, like an investig investigative type suspense. Maybe maybe horror suspense, maybe? What is this? Wait, do I have an inventory? Oh, I do. It's like a... It's a Nokia. People the phone is smashed. Oh, it's a no Nokia. It's work anytime soon. Guess license infringement, guys. Can't have Nokia's. It's a Nokia. Oh, that's interesting. What do I want to do with that? I'll put someone's eye out with that.
damn clamps and shit. So I guess I gotta find my way out of here. I guess that's what we're doing. All right, let's try this. What's in here? What's that? Oh, a hookah. All right, that's something you need when you're abducted by aliens. Get that hookah action. All right, it's fine. It's fine. All right, let's try this. One. I can't get further through here. Through there. Okay, so. I So, if I can't get further through here. So, can we smash a window or something? Let's see. What happens if I go to a window? Okay, I don't see any, any, any activation hints or anything like that. Oh, a saw. Can I use that? Guess not. I'm just gonna leave that right here with all the other tools, just so I know where it is. Never know, it might come in handy. Do I have any other controls? Okay, we can jump. Can we? Oh, and we can crouch. Okay, and I have an inventory. Let me pick this up too. Just put this over here, just so I know where it's at. What is this? It's a spackle, a spackle thing, or a, a one of the things you use for concrete uh, mortar. What are they called? Okay, it's definitely an investigative type. I think it's got a got a suspense thing behind it. I just want to relax. Let's get into this. What is this? Oh, okay. Table saw, please. Wonder what that. Hmm. Oh, here's a. Okay, so the cord goes out here. Okay, it's plugged into the bottom. So where's the red thing go? The red's plugged into this one. So that don't help me now. Where's this one go though? Wait. There's no door. Why would he hit me and then lock me in here? Okay, so maybe he'll open the door if I unplug this, you think? Maybe is that a thing? No, because only... Wait, those ain't even plugged in. Oh shit, that looks dangerous. It's fine. Let me go back in here, because we had to turn that light on, so I wonder what that... Oh wait, maybe... So we can't go out the window. Maybe I got a kick in a wall or something, you think? kind of like these games sometimes I like I, I, I kind of like these games and then sometimes I don't it depends on how well they're done this is a this is one of them gray area games right like you never know if they're gonna execute them properly like it could easily become way too hard it could either be way too easy in which terms it's it's not fun it's just silly or it's way too hard where it's just frustrating right oh there we go okay. all right so I'm getting I'm understanding it. you definitely got to look around I might be able to get further through the attic. Okay. So, if that's the case... So how would we open the attic? A pair of pliers, maybe? I'm not sure of the mechanics right now, guys, so... Once I'm sure of how to use all this stuff, then probably is there. Let me see, let me look at the controls. Uh, okay, jump, crouch, sprint. Okay, cycle inventory, use flashlight. Oh, well, that's all. Jump, crouch, sprint, inventory, cycle flashlight. Okay. Inventory is just a phone. And cycle inventory would be F. All right. Well, shit. Did I just drop the phone too? Tell me I didn't. So you can't use this. So if it doesn't... Oh, I can jump though. Hold on. All right, okay. We can jump, so maybe I can reach it? Let me see. 
Oh, I got it. Maybe we can just, uh, maybe it's just like an obstacle course here. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can jump around here. Jump around. Jump around. No? Doesn't look like that's a thing. Hmm. How would I... What the hell is that? Oh, the wheelbarrow. Maybe I can move the wheelbarrow. No? Why would I have to turn this light on, though? That's got me curious. It's almost like it made me... It wants me to know something. Can I pick up any of these boxes, maybe, to stand on them? Figuring out the mechanics of what the game wants, that's always one of the hardest things to fucking do. Can't jump. Why would I have to operate this? Hmm. That's gonna be interesting. Uh, where was that pipe? No, that's not what I'm after. I want this pipe right here. Shit. I don't want to look at that. I want to. Okay, never mind. I wanted that pipe, but maybe that's not important. Okay, so we know I gotta get through through the attic, but like what do I need to do to get up there? Once we figure out the first bit of the mechanics, then the rest of the game just kind of falls into place. You know, like that last game, once we found the flashlight, everything just fell into place. I just gotta figure out, so how will we get up here? Like picking stuff up? That's not, I don't think that's an option. Like looking at everything, I don't see anything to pick up. And jumping on stuff that doesn't appear to work. And unless I jump up to grab this, maybe. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Well. That's a clamp. You can't really use these. I mean, you, you can, but I, I mean, like, you can move them around. Can Would this be a thing? And it doesn't look like this is a thing. Hmm. I almost want to look at a walkthrough just for this first part, just to see, like, how the mechanics work so we can keep playing, you know? But I don't want to, because I also want to learn, you know, like figure it out. It's always a hit or miss. Sometimes you just, I don't like want to see how to beat the game. I just want to know, like, how does it work? Everybody's different. We play so many games and everybody has a different way of doing things. I don't see any more question marks, so. why it would want me to come in here and turn oh I turned the light on and then the thing became visible so that might be what it was I couldn't see the attic without the light on that might have been a thing okay what is this okay something just happened all right so what did I just do let me see looks like fiberglass or something's falling from the sky That's about. Okay, yeah, jumping is not a thing because, see, it actually stops you. So even this little bitty thing, it won't let you jump on. So 
So that is incorrect, sir. That is not the proper way to make this work. Hmm. Climbed up here. I might actually have to look at a walkthrough because I'm just not sure what I'm doing. Well, we could try it. I don't want to beat the game, but I just want to know what the mechanic is that I'm missing here. So, let's do this. It's the blameless, oh, let me see. Blameless game walkthrough. Let me see. Let's see what this guy does. This blood stain does not look like an blood. Okay, he's got the clamp. He's walking around. He has no idea what the fuck to do either. Okay, he picked up the pipe. All right, he's turned on the light. Okay, it looks like he's about to figure it out. Hold on, let's see what he does. Let me see. A pair of pliers? Wait, what is that? Wait, wait, wait. It's slipping. You can't turn it by hand. Oh, no. Wait, is that that little... Oh, my God. Really? Okay. All right. Wow. This one's actually complicated. Holy shit. Um, yeah. Wow. This one actually looks like it might be complicated. If you guys don't remember, I picked up like a thing and I said it would, it would put my eye out. I don't even know where the fuck I dropped that thing. Where the fuck is it? Wow, okay, so if that's how these mechanics work, this is gonna be freaking crazy. Um, where the hell did I drop that thing? I don't even remember where, Jesus, it's so hard to, to see anything. Where the hell did I put it? It was like a, there it is. This thing. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh my God, wow. Well, now we know Now we know the mechanics and then he took the pair of pliers. All right, so this is gonna be a very complicated game, actually. There we go, all right. I needed to do that, guys. I would have never figured it out. I would have just got frustrated. Shit, it's dark. How was that? Sound like someone dragging. There we himself. go. A library card belonging to Helen Woodward. Okay. How did it get here? Well, obviously, that's the chick that uh, is no longer with us anymore. GG's. Okay, so I'm not going to complain that that's really hard, but like, man, without a walkthrough, you're probably going to get frustrated as fuck. <laughs> so, but I'm fine. Now that I understand that it's, it's just a really complicated game, like, if I just can't figure it out, then... It's holding with the wires. I dropped the fucking wire cutters. So I bet you if I get wire cutters, yeah, I can cut these. I mean, now that I understand it's a complicated game, if, if I can't do it, I'm just dumb, right? But without knowing that little bit of information, then I wouldn't know if I was just dumb or, you know, the game was broken, so. And we can't throw away anything because, yeah, here we go. This will give us, the, this will give us, this will cut that shit. Bolt cutters. Breaking into houses in 1947. The wire cutters are broken. What? The hinge on that handle should attach, but it's missing. 
fuck, I gotta fit I gotta fix the wire cutters? Holy crap. Okay. Let's drop them in front of the door. Alright, so I have to find some way of fixing the wire cutters. I kind of like it. What do you guys think? Do you like really hard, hard, hard type puzzle games? Or do you like just a happy median? Or do you like it when it's like, do you feel like you really accomplished something if you did, if it was something incredibly difficult and you fit and you did it all by yourself, do you feel more accomplished or do you think it's just frustrating? Especially when you spend hours trying to do something and like, it's just so unrewarding. I like challenge, but I don't like it to be hours and hours and hours and then unrewarding i mean I'm, I, I better get my balls fondled you know if it's something i spent hours on some games are too hard i will admit they're just way too hard or they make no sense hey stein thank you kai yes the good pace exactly we ran into that. What game were we playing? We were playing a game, uh, I believe, yesterday or the day before. The game, uh, what, what was it? It was that stupid one. We, we were literally, we were three minutes from beating the game. But the last puzzle made absolutely no sense. Like, it was some weird, spooky ghost game. And then the last puzzle was some freaking carnival bullshit that made no sense at all and we just kept dying and we died for like two hours we were three minutes away from the game and then i just wound up starting up a browser just to see the ending to see how the guy finished the last puzzle and he finished the last puzzle and we watched the ending and it was the stupidest thing i'd ever seen i wasted like two hours on we were three minutes away from beating the game wasted two hours on the last puzzle and it was shit I was I was not even happy I beat the game. It was like I was so mad at that point. It just killed the game for me. The game was great. Like, the game was totally great. But then we hit this stopping point, and it, the game just turned to shit immediately. And this one, okay, I can see it's very complicated. It's a little slow. You know, got to investigate. I get it. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too off on it. I'm, I'm digging it, you know. And there's the bolt. Okay, so let's go take this. And we're going to put this in the bolt cutters. You can interact with any object in front of you. Try both the screw and... The handle is not in place. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, wow. Boy, this game, though. Damn. Wow. I just get an achievement tool master. Oh my God. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, we're outside. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't have a flashlight yet. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's fine. I even turned up the gamma, guys. I might turn it up some more because I know you guys can't see. Give me a second. Brightness. Yeah, I know you guys can't see. I mean, it, it's dark for me, so you guys have it even worse. So let's do that. Yeah, let's see if we... Yeah, that makes it a little bit... It's a little bit washed out, but I know you guys can't see at all, so... What the fuck? Hello? Ah, oh, shit. Well, this is... This is why we can't have anything nice, y'all. What is B? I see that B at the top left, and it makes me wonder what's going on. I was like, what? Why am I locked at 60 frames a second? I'm just curious. I turned... Oh, 
I guess V-Sync is on. This is probably a console game. Okay, there's got to be a round key or something there. So I'm pretty sure this one is not like uh, spooky in terms of like a uh, ghost thing. I think there's just a maniac that's trying to kill us or some shit. Pretty sure that's the direction this one's going. What did I just see? The dragging stain again. I didn't even see that. If it wasn't for that, man, wow. It might have been because I turned up the brightness. Open the door any slower? Damn, dude. Let's I don't like the look of that dark corridor. Corridor? Let's see if the light switch is working. Corridor? Did he just say corridor? I think someone was reading the script. <laughs> oh, this looks inviting. Finally out of the house. Corridor. This guy's probably one of those dudes that, that says, like, auxiliary instead of just auxiliary like everybody else. Not that auxiliary is not correct. I'm just saying most people don't bother with the extra eerie. Oh man, this looks if if this game is that detailed and this in this world is getting this big, it might get scary here in terms of difficulty. Cuz there's so much stuff you can interact with. Holy shit, look at this. More dark rooms. I might not be able to interact with anything while it's dark. So. Oh, no, we can. Why is everything always locked? Well, I can go back for the bolt cutters, I think. I don't think that door is. Oh, no, the door closed behind me, didn't it? Fuck, I knew I should have carried those things with me. I knew it. I was like, you know what? Take those with you. No. The fucking door is closed. Oh, my God. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay. At least the running is a good pace. I don't know if you get tired or not. But by that same rationale, running means you might have to run, which also adds a new level of difficulty to things. July 2001. Oh, I didn't know I'd read it. Subject. Final reminder letter. Dear Mr. Hopkin, this is to inform you that according to our records, as of 12 July 2001, we still haven't received back the scaffolding or the three suspension ladders you borrowed from the Deirdre Construction Stores on 7 June of this year. Please return the scaffolding within 14 days upon receiving this letter. Should you choose to ignore this appeal, we will be passing this matter to a collection company, which will be obliged to forcibly remove the scaffolding from your possession. To cover any fees or penalties incurred by such action will be your sole responsibility. Note. You will not receive any more reminder letters from us. Yours sincerely, Anna Catwell, Account Manager, Dare Drew Constructions Limited. Ooh, a collection company. Scary words. Oh, no, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> you have no idea how many times I've heard shit like this. <laughs> God, you guys have no idea how many times I've had to deal with fuckers like this over the years. Uh, DG, how you doing, man? God, I thought doc that was like a female version of Dr. Phil. She ran, she read so damn slow. Jesus. 
What the hell is this? Some Hodgkin's fucking black powder? like I can interact with anything in here. So there's scaffolding right there. Okay. Oh, it's a ladder. It's a hook ladder. And it is broken. This must be one of the three suspension ladders mentioned in the letter. Okay. All right. So, it, But it is broken, so I can't use it. So I'm not sure where I would use that at. God, this dude is doing a lot of work. Okay. I'm going to go here. Yeah, it's probably hooks up there, and then I can climb up there, I bet. Why? I don't know. Because? Reasons? She was talking about, let me see, suspension ladders and scaffolding. Concrete. Ready mix, man. Just add water, baby. It's never been used. <laughs> Trust me, it's never been used. I've, I've, I've used enough cement mixers to tell you when one's never been used. <laughs> oh, here's the dumpster the guy talked about at the beginning. He said it was blocking the path. Locked. Locked. Okay. Alright, so if the doors are locked, then we need to either work on uh, cutting a lock off that that other building, or finding a key. Um, there's nothing to do in there. Let's go back this other way. Let's see. Where did I come out of? I came out of here. Let's take a look in here, see what I, I missed. If there's anything I can interact with. What is this? He doesn't like the dark hallways, I know. Hey, look. This guy likes white cock. Oh, he broke the tip off of the white cock. Shit. I don't know what this dude was doing with four white cocks. Holy crap. Now, those are some really big white cocks, too. Oh, shit. There's a guy laying on the ground behind the white cock. I wonder what happened to the guy who's laying on the ground behind the big white cock. What the hell? Oh, it's a woman. She must have been killed by the big white cock. I wonder if, if that tip of the white cock got broke off inside of her somehow. You think that you think that big white cock is what killed her? She was killed by big white cock. Shit, she's... she's dead. Ew! 38 the address of this house. Was she invited here too? Come on, do it. I gotta get out of here and call for help. Oh, look at her. <laughs> look at her butt. <laughs> Damn, woman, did you paint them jeans on? Shit. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna do some CSI shit. Uh, cause of death? Asphyxiation. Lack of blood to her extremities from painting on these fucking jeans. Well, true story, guys. You can have big white cock. I'm just saying.
<laughs> True man. All right. Let's... Well, cop kills, man. She might have just passed out, you know? Slippage. Hey. Ah, shit. Oh, there we go. What the fuck? It's aiming up. What is... What the fuck? It's aiming up. Why? What the... F okay. I don't even want to... All right. I'm not going to question this logic if you guys don't. Okay? We're using the flashlight incorrectly. <laughs> I'm not even going to question this one. Yeah, I, I know, man. I'm not I'm not going to question the fucking light. So we got the keys. There was nothing else in here, right? Let me see. Let me double check. Yeah, so the keys, I bet you open that door. Okay. Big white cock. Sorry, had to say it again. It was necessary. All right, listen. I'm going to drive that one home, okay? Because we're not going to get a chance to see big white cock in video games anymore. It's just not a thing, okay? So I've got to milk it for everything it's worth. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> milk, milk, because it's a, it's, it's a, okay, never mind, shut up. Locked, locked. That looks inviting. This is the way out. Oh, well, that was easy. Shit. Made this game my bitch. Ah, fuck! Jesus. This place is scary. The electric must have tripped for the whole garage. No! It's okay. Fuck it. We're out of here, dudes. There ain't no power, man. I'll, I'll freaking... I'll, listen, I don't know how many of you have ever been seen a garage door, okay? If that some bitch has even got a crack under it, you can get under that bitch. We out of here, man. Like, in, in real life, I would so be out of here. I would squeeze right... I mean, I'd be like a snake. Let us go right under that bitch, man. No problem. It happened. Damn, nature, you scary. Okay, table saw. Let's take that with us. If we get into a fight with the bad guy, we'll just throw the table saw at him. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's over. Ha! I know where to go now. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's do it. Bye. Shit, do I gotta put this down? We're going to do it. Haha. <laughs> yes. So one of them is broke, so we can't use it. So we only need this one, I think. <laughs> Yeah. We're awesome. Fucking awesome. Nobody can fucking beat games like we can because we're awesome. Get through the scaffold. Come on. Billy, go. Get through the scaffold. Okay, wait. Is this. Okay. Hey, fuck it, man. Hey, fuck it. Ah! Jesus. Oh, shit, no. Fuck a bunch of you. What? Get away from me. Hey. Door. 
Come on! Get through the door! Ah! There he is! This is Light Water Police. Stay where you are. Ah, oh, shit. What? You're under arrest. What? Get down on your knees. Yo, but man. I didn't do anything. Hey, I'm Get a... on your knees, I'm, now! I'm a Mexican. You can't do you this to me. You are under arrest. Bullshit! Run. What the... This is what happened. What? He was chasing me with a rod in his hand. <laughs> he must have hidden when he saw the police cars pulling up to the gate. Mr. Malcolm, we searched the yard thoroughly and didn't find any evidence suggesting there was another man. No, 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 no. He was there. He was the owner who called me. The former owners sold the house due to personal financial problems two weeks ago. They moved to a different town on the other side of the country. The private company who owns it now proved all their employees were off-site, having a team building activity that night. How could you not find evidence of him? I'm telling you, he was there. I heard you. Our officers got a phone call from one of the neighbors reporting lights coming on in the house and suspicious person moving on site. They gave us your description. They never saw another man. Circumstantial. <laughs> How could that be? This doesn't make any sense. Let's I... cut the crap. What? It does make pretty clear sense to me. I have to say that I honestly don't believe any part of your bullshit story that you're giving me here. Everything suggests that you murdered that woman. No, I... You found the victim's blood on your clothes and your hands. You had the victim's wallet in your pocket. Wait. And the officers caught you fleeing the crime scene. You. No one else. Guess whose fingerprints match the ones we found on the victim's body, huh? murdered that woman, but I'll guarantee you're never getting out. You're going down, Mr. Blameless. You're going down? <laughs> huge, huge white cocks, rods, going down this game. <laughs> wasn't bad guys it's a free game it's on steam it is free i gotta admit for a free game it's not bad it ain't bad it ain't bad flameless it did have a quick scare at the end <laughs> it did have a quick scare there was a quick one at the end <laughs> plot twist all right, I'm not going to say it really. It, I mean, it, it, okay, it's kind of a twist ending, yeah, kind of surprise. That's how it all began for me. Oh, shit. And it was far from over. What? What? What do you mean, far?